guys so welcome back to my channel so today is not a makeup video but it is my bath and body works collection so i've been wanting to do this for a while and it's because right now especially with quarantine and the stress of just the virus and everything you really need to chill and like calm down and i love these products they just smell amazing and i really feel like they help me like calm down i love taking baths with the shower gels and moisturizing with the body lotions or the whipped body butters and when i'm feeling like exfoliating using the scrubs you know so i'm just thinking that bath and body works has always helped me through this and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this i'm sorry it's probably not for everyone but uh it's just a little different from a makeup video so i just thought i would make it this week so i hope you guys do enjoy and let's get into it for my collection um i have seven different categories so we're gonna start with the smallest ones and then build our way up to the bigger ones so let's get into it so um the first one is body scrubs i only have one actually for this one and it's the lovely dreamer exfoliating white clay scrub this i've used a few times on my feet but that is it and it worked well to get the dead skin cells off my feet but uh, that's all i really can say about this one next ones are hand sanitizers as we can tell my favorite one favorite scent is a winter candy apple i have two of them here and i have another one in my car and i have the swedish strawberries moving forward i have whipped body butters so i have two and these are my two favorite scents once again i have the winter candy apple and uh yeah so i will show you it i have not tried it out yet looks like that um these are good for your body as well as your hands and then my second favorite scent a thousand wishes this one i'm pretty sure is just like seasonal with christmas this one you can buy it whenever uh moving along i have hand lotions i only i actually have three but i'm not sure where my other one is it's something bahama is my other one but i literally do not know where it is but my favorite one is the tiki bay I have gave this to so many of my coworkers. I've bought them for them. It is the most amazing smell. If you guys like going down south on a vacation, and since right now we can't do it, you might as well get this hand lotion because it smells like you're there. So I recommend this one. I really do like it, and like I said, m all my coworkers do too. Um, my other one is the raspberry sugar. I'm pretty sure this is with the Christmas collection as well. I've not tried this one yet. Um, for body sprays, I have the Sunset Guava Colada one. I actually just finished that, so it's in my empty bin, but I it is one from Bath & Body Works. Another one is the Beautiful Day. So I love this scent, guys. I have this, I've had this in body lotions, body washes, and I also have it in the perfume, and it's almost gone. I have A Thousand Wishes to go along with my whipped body butter. And then... I have the Paris Amour, which I do love. I think this is actually discontinued off the site now, but I broke the top off of it, so I'm waiting. So I'm probably going to take the one off the Sunset Guava Colada and put it on this one so I can use it. My favorite scent again, Winter Candy Apple. I have one of these in every category, sometimes more than one. Um, I have White Jasmine. This is a newer one to my collection. And I have a Tiki Bay perfume. Just to let you guys know, I think uh, Tiki Bay is actually with the spring collection. So it's a newer, like, release from there. And I have one scent I hate from Bath & Body Works. And that would be Tiki Mango. I hate this one. It literally, it doesn't even smell like mangoes. And it doesn't smell like a vacation like you would think it would. Like, the packaging looks like it just looks like a down south vacation. But no, it does not smell good. So I... I've used it a few times, but I'm not probably going to continue using it. I don't really like it. So moving along, I'm going to move to my shower gels. This is where I have more of an obsession. I have an obsession with Bath & Body Works for their hand soaps and for their um, shower gels because I find that they last long. Like the shower gels, I can go a month on one bottle and I take a shower every day. And the hand soaps as well because you just need one pump because it's foaming soap. Um, I'm just going to put a disclaimer out there that... 
all of the hand soaps and shower gels and basically this whole collection except for the spring releases that i talked to you about the tiki bay i bought these all before the whole coronavirus thing i did not hoard these i did not hoard the hand sanitizers or the hand soaps because you will see i do have a lot i did not hoard them because of the coronavirus i've had this collection going for over a year now so i just wanted to put that disclaimer out there so i don't get any comments saying that i was hoarding it for that because i'm not so thank you moving along so the one I'm using right now in the shower is the Sunset Guava Colada. This actually is a really nice like spring summer scent. It smells, like I said, almost the same. Like a lot of these are summer scents. They just smell like a vacation. So I like this one. It smells like guava. So it smells really good. And it's a perfume I ran out of as well. Moving right along, I have Paris Amour. Once again, it's discontinued, I'm pretty sure. I will leave it on the screen if it's discontinued from Bath & Body Works or not. So I had that one. Of course, Winter Candy Apple. We love that scent. We always stock up on those during Christmas time. So I have some for the rest of the year. We have Cashmere Glow. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued as well. Once again, it will be on the screen. This one, I this is a new packaging I've seen on Bath & Body Works. This is at the beach shower gel. I haven't smelled it yet because it's actually still closed. But I got this one in like December, but before that I had never seen it, this packaging or this scent before. Endless Weekend. This I've had in perfume and, and like shower gels, hand soaps, all before. I really do love this scent. It's just like a, it's like a, a musty, must, musty smell. I don't know how to explain that, but you know what I mean. Then I have Country Apple. Uh, this one I'm pretty sure is discontinued as well. This is a very particular smell. Like, I don't think everyone would like this scent because it smells like apple, but like it's, it's strong. So I don't think everyone would like it. I like it, but I was taking a risk. I actually ordered most of this stuff online. So it's kind of was like, a, oh, it looks good. So I'll buy it. But I like the smell, but it's a very particular smell. Moving along, I have a few winter, like winter collections. I have Black Raspberry Vanilla and Winterberry Wonder. These two smell the exact same, guys. Um, I ordered these online and I regret buying both because, well, I don't regret because I will use them. They smell good, but they smell the exact same. So I'm not sure if they just put the same product in different bottles and called it a different name, but they smell the exact same to me. So I have three more shower gels left. Yes, I know it's quite a big collection. To go along with my two favorite smells, I have my Thousand Wishes Shower Gel. And this is a newer one. I bought this when I bought the Tiki Bay. This is one of their spring collection releases. The Wakiki Beach Coconut. Don't come at me. I probably said that wrong. <laughs> Sorry about that. But it does smell really good. And once again, kind of sm tastes, smells, not tastes, like a pina colada. <laughs> Do not eat this. <laughs> Then Fresh Sparkling Snow. This was from their winter collection as well. Okay, so now we're coming to my obsession. So I purchased all these hand soaps actually for when I get an apartment. And I was talking to my sister and she was saying how one soap lasted her like a good like three months. Because they spend most of their day at school, right? So you're not washing your hands at home as much. You're washing it in the morning and at night, you know? So... I have a lot, as you guys can probably tell, uh, it will last many years, but um, yeah, with the whole coronavirus, I am actually digging into my collection now and using them here, um, because we are getting out as much to get soap, right, or get anything, and where I work, they don't have the best smelling soap, so why not just use these, so, but once again, I did not buy these because of coronavirus, just letting you know once again. So, uh, the first one is White Tea and Sage. This one is another particular smell. It's musty, but, like, musty. It's a mixture of musty and floral, so it's a very particular smell. I like it, but not everyone, once again, will. I have the Pineapple Mango. This one smells amazing, guys. I don't know what it is about it, but this is, like, a kitchen soap. You know, like, for, like, in your kitchen by your sink, you want, like, a chill, laid-back scent? That's that's this one. I have a few like ocean ones too, or like they're blue. Like this one, White Waves. This is another one for your kitchen. It's just chill. It's not like scent like a scent that's gonna linger on your hands forever. It's just a like a very original, normal scent. 
Of course, we got a winter candy apple. I'm pretty sure I have two more, one or two more in there as well. <laughs> I gotta suck up on them, you know? Um, Cactus Blossom. This is actually so good smelling, guys, and I actually love the color. It's like, it smells like roses, and it has, it's, it's pink, and it's gorgeous, and I love it. Moving on, I have the Raspberry Tangerine. This is another one for your kitchen. I gave this to my mom a few times. She loved the scent. Uh, yeah. Right now in my bathroom, I have Daydream, I'm pretty sure. I think that's a limited edition one. I will once again put it on the screen if it's available. Um, like I said, I have this The Beautiful Day in the Fragrance Mist. I have it in hand soap as well. I just love the scent. It's just a very like calm smelling scent cucumber melon very chill very nice it's just a very normal scent most people smelled cucumber melon before um winter candy apple again just in a di different packaging <laughs> winter this is a scent that is amazing i love it amazing it was a winter collection obviously it says winter right in the title so I'm not sure if that's still available. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is from, I've gotten millions of soaps. Before I was getting hands, like um, foaming soaps, I would get this one in like the normal one that you like, it's not foaming. It's just like really thick and you have to lather it a lot. Um, back like six, seven years ago, it's an oldie but a goodie Bath & Body Works scent. It's Black Cherry Merlot. We love it. It smells like cherry. And yeah, I really like that one. It's an oldie but a goodie. This one, that's not from Bath & Body Works. <laughs> um, I have pink citrus. This smells like pink lemonade. I'm just putting that out there, It, pink lemonade. So if you guys like the, the smell of pink lemonade, pick this up. We're getting to the bottom of the bag. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys about this one. I was looking on Bath & Body Works because I had an obsession back in like, uh september around and like when they were starting to release the like christmas winter scents and stuff i saw this one and um one of my friends and i in like grade four or five we did a hedgehog pro project and ever since then i was like obsessed with hedgehogs so this is the closest thing of me getting a hedgehog <laughs> it's the fresh sparkling snow and it has a little hedgehog skating on it and i just honestly bought it for the packaging but the scent is very good <laughs> I have warm vanilla sugar, not my most favorite scent. I'm honestly going to use this and give it to my mom and we're gonna use it here because this is not something I would use in my apartment because it's not my favorite scent. I don't really like the smell of vanilla, so not gonna lie. We have two left. We have one good one, one bad one. Warm Autumn Glow, it smells like oranges. It smells amazing, recommend. I know a lot of people like the smell of oranges and it is orange as well. And this is an autumn release. My last one is one that I'm not a fan of. So I bought this one when we were rushing out of Bath & Body Works, like around Christmas time. It was um, like, you know, Black Friday sales right after Christmas. Yeah. So I was getting stuff then. It's called Merry Cookie. Gent it's a, you know, the gentle, gentle foaming hand soap. But this smells so strong. It's too sweet. It gives me a headache, honestly. Like, you know, like... um like it smells like a sugar cookie but like very very sweet and sugary and it's too sweet and sugary for a soap so i don't know i don't know if i will use this because honestly i just smelled it and i already like my nose is like it gives me a headache so i probably will not use this i'll probably give it away or sell it i'm not sure so that is my collection we have gone through it I have way too many Bath & Body Works products, but let me tell you, I will get through them. I use them every day. Like I said, I use the hand soaps, the shower gels, the body lotions, the hand lotions, the body sprays every single day. And hand sanitizers right now, especially I'm using. And yeah, so that's my collection of Bath & Body Works products. So that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, please subscribe and comment down below. Give it a like, you know. Do all that if you have not already. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.